Welcome back to In Focus. Uh, joining us now, as he does every Monday and Friday, is Sunny Young from the sunny side of sport. Sunny, uh, welcome. As we begin a new year, what are a few of the big sporting events uh, you'll be following closely in this year, 2010? Well, Vincent, just around the corner on January 10th, we have the African Cup of Nations tournament. That's Africa's premier soccer tournament kicking off in the Angolan capital of Luanda. Angola will host Mali in the opening match. And then about five months after the kickoff of the Nations Cup, we'll have the World Cup in South Africa, which officially begins on June 11th in Johannesburg. And later in the year in October, one of the big sporting events I'll be following is the Commonwealth Games and the Commonwealth African countries uh, there will be about 20 African countries sending teams to New Delhi, India for the Commonwealth Games. Now, Sunny, you did mention uh, the Nations Cup kicking off uh, January 10th in Angola. Who are some of these teams that are participating in this cup and wh which are some of your favorite teams that you think might be favored to win this tournament? Well, Vincent, uh, the Pharaohs of Egypt have won the Nations Cup a record six times. I think they'll have a difficult time retaining their title in Angola. They'll be missing uh, perhaps their best player, Mohamed Abutrika, who has a broken bone in his foot. He will not play in Angola. Uh, in the absence of Abutrika, I like Cameroon perhaps to win the trophy. Cameroon has won it four times. Another favorite for the title is Ghana. Both Ghana and Cameroon are going to the World Cup later in the year in South Africa. Two more World Cup bound teams from Africa, Nigeria and Ivory Coast, also have to be considered contenders for the trophy in Angola. Right, let's turn to pro basketball. The Los Angeles Lakers are continuing their quest for a second straight NBA title. How are the Lakers doing so far this season? Vincent, the Lakers are doing very well on Sunday night. They crushed the Dallas Mavericks 131 to 96 to improve their record to 27 wins and six losses. That's the best record in the NBA. Kobe Bryant is once again leading the Lakers. Kobe is averaging more than 30 points a game. That makes him the top scorer in the NBA. And one interesting uh, sidebar, Vincent, on Sunday night, Jordan Farmar came off the bench to score 24 points for the Lakers. He's one of two Jewish players competing this year in the NBA. Well, thank you very much, Sonny, for those highlights. And remember to watch for the sunny side of sports each Friday here on In Focus.